the biggest logistical challenge for the players um, and for the staff and the teams as well is the fact that you're, you're getting players from a whole bunch of co different countries, different teams, different training methodologies, they, they play different, uh, maybe some are playing, maybe some aren't playing, but you've got to get them in the training camp and prepare everybody to be on a level playing field by the time the tournament begins. So the, the biggest logistical challenge is how do you how do you do that? How do you get them with all all of these different um, uh, from different backgrounds uh, to be ready at the same time? So that's that's the biggest challenge. It's one of the biggest risks for players coming from club team environment, international team environment, is a potential for increased risk of injury, mainly due to uh, we think the fact that there are, um, maybe differences in load. So the, the the, not only the amount of what they have to do but the type as well so sometimes you can come in and do the same amount of training that you're used to doing but the, the way you do it is very different so I think the, the biggest risk there is for uh, the potential for an increase in injury. The communication between the, the club and the national team medical staff is, is vital um, because otherwise you don't, you don't know what the player, what, what's, the, what's the player's injury history, what, what is the loads that they've been involved in, how many games have they played, uh, you've basically got no background information of what, what they've done when they come to you, so to, for you to then, for the national team to then implement a programme that's to optimise the performance and minimise the injury risk of the player, it's very difficult to do because you, you don't have the information, so unless you can communicate uh, with both parties, then it's going to be difficult to make informed decisions for your training program and then likewise when you go back to the the communication another way is also very important so the national team back to the club and if you got if you get that cycle where each party is getting something from it then then hopefully there'll be more motivation to do it So the, the impact that the coaches and the, the management have uh, and the head coach have on, on that transition from club uh, to national team and what the sports medicine team do in terms of the programme to minimise injury risk and optimise performance, uh, the role they have is key uh, because if you don't have the buy-in from, if you're making recommendations about a player and how to optimally prepare the player um, and you don't have the buy-in from the key people, then you're going to it's going to be very, very difficult uh, from the beginning. But if you get the buy-in from them and you educate them why and help them understand why it's important uh, that you want to implement certain things and what the benefit is to them to get the player and have the player on the pitch, have the player ready to play and, and optimally, then it's going to make life a lot easier. So for me, that's the, one of the biggest key, key things. So practical tips to streamline the process uh, for the communication both between club team and national team and within the national team within your key stakeholders, the manager and the coaching staff, I would say is the communication um, and making that continual uh, communication with, with the feedback, then that's probably the two, the two best ways to get by in. Yeah.